Another lesson by Yong Shu Hong. I never learn. I hesitated a while, and in the end, could not resist asking for your email address to keep in touch, as if out of obligation or common courtesy, or simply because it was the natural thing to do. And worse still, actually emailed when I got home, and then let disappointment set in when no reply came. Had America taught me nothing about superficial acquaintances, but at Hall's Lodge in Noosa, where I first met you, you seemed genuinely interested to relate your tales that I was compelled to listen to, thinking, "What a wonderful way to understand the natives, triumphant in being able to reap friendship in a lounge full of strangers, even eager to tell you my Chinese name, each character making it up, Shu." Meaning tree, and hong, a sense of grandeur, even showing you by writing them out on my notepad, where I had earlier scribbled your name and email address. Now ashamed to have fallen again under the spell of misconceptions, too drunk on a romanticized idea, still keeping the notepad, but I finally stopped hoping for email to arrive. Still befuddled by expectations, I can never quite unlearn.